Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria with Elixir for Tay Games. On the last episode, we started off the game. We got to see Velvet's life here in a ball with her family. We got to hunt some prickle boars. You know, just normal family stuff. And today we're going to be going on a bit further with the plot. We are going to go and talk to those two dialogue things over there. Going to see if anyone else around town has anything to say. And most importantly, we're going to go home and make Laffy some food because hot darn. Hot darn? Hot dang. We need to make him some food. He's going to be hungry. Uh, let's go talk to this lady first. I want to see what she has to say. Hi. Oh, welcome back, Velvet. Did you have good luck out there today? Um, it was so-so, I guess. <laughs> Always so humble. Everyone knows you're almost as good as Arthur. <laughs> Thanks. He's really something. Well, I suppose you have to fix dinner. We need to get going, too. See you tomorrow, Velvet. Yeah, see you tomorrow. I've completely forgotten all of the voices I gave everyone, including Velvet. That That's really not good. Uh, I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sorry. Hi there. Ho ho, Daddy's home. Have you been good today? Oh, Gaga! I can't do baby voices, I'm sorry. A baby. I might be a mom someday. Wait, no, what am I even thinking? I have to make dinner. Focus, Velvet. I, I think it's a bit early for you to be thinking about children. You're 16. Live your life, girl. Then again, I know people who were like 16 or so and had kids and who are quite happy with their lives as they are. So that's fair enough. You know, if you want to have a kid of that age, then just as long as you know what you're doing, I guess. Hey there, Velvet. You go all the way out to the shrine today? I did. I think that hole's getting bigger, too. Thought so. We need to keep people away from there. It's a sacred place, and we shouldn't mess with it. But we can't allow accidents, either. Thanks for the heads up, though. I'll bring it up at the next village meeting. They actually have village meetings? That's very organized. Hello. Oh, they're all away in their shed for the night. That's cute. Oh, I love the amount of detail they've put into the world here. I I haven't noticed some of this stuff until now, and it's really nice to see. Uh, right, there's no one else over here, is there? Okay, let's quickly go and get those two dialogue things over here. Hi! Nico? Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese on the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting prickle boars? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on! Think big! Dream, Velvet! Dream! Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Laffy and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. <laughs> I, I, that's exactly why it is, Nico. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe... But they're so cute, so I forgive them. They are good doggos. I love them. I love all dogs, to be fair. Right, you have something else to say? One day, you'll make some lucky man very happy, Velvet. I'm sure of it. Uh-huh? Where's that coming from all of a sudden? <laughs> Just an idle thought. No need to get upset. Uh, I, I can't do girl voices. I mean, I can't do any voices, but I can't do girl voices. <laughs> Hi again. 
Even my dad has been saying stuff about how we shouldn't trust strangers. It makes me want to punch him. My own dad! Oh, sorry for going off on a rant like that. Let's get together and make quiche and vent sometime, eh? Huh. Squee? <laughs> what kind of a dog noise is squee? <laughs> That's not a dog noise. I've never heard a dog go squee. <laughs> I mean, my dog makes some pretty strange noises, but she never says squee. Or makes a noise that sounds anything like squee. There are people over here. Hi! Who can say, really? Oh dear, I do need to go get supper ready. The churl- the changing world- the changing world concerns me, but we need to stay fed to face it. I- I think I just assumed that it was the woman speaking there because it was the thing above her head. I don't know. Anyway. Hi, kid. How you doing? Tonight we're having rapid soup. It's not the cat's meow, but it'll satisfy. You won't find any fish swimming in it, though, you two. Isn't that right, Othelina? And you, Othello? Meow. Meow. Wait, you called... You called your cats Othello and Othelina? Or Othelina? Really? That's so... Okay. <laughs> you could have been a bit more creative, at least. Oh, man. Hi, Selica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the Cape tomorrow. Oh, that's sad. This entire game is sad. Is there anything else here? No. Okay. Let's head into the house then. Oh, hello. What is this? Okay, why is all their food outside? Doesn't that make it spoil? Uh, who knows? Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy. I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean! See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Lafayette. It should only take... 
Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Woo, time for a cooking mini game. All right, hi, Laughing Sad, though. How are you doing? You might not believe it, but I do whatever my mind. But I can do whatever I set my mind to. <laughs> okay, sure you can. Oh, come on, give him a little bit of credit. I mean, he's a kid, but he seems to like what he does. Observations on the Nameless Imperium. Oh, isn't this Arthur's book? Is Laffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Ah, uh, do we have another check here? Oh wait, that's the same one. Okay. We have another check at this side. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Who leaves on a journal knowing that someone's gonna read it? Anyway, uh, I said cooking minigame, but it's not really a cooking minigame, is it? It's, it's just a couple of actions. Anyway, let's ignite the stove. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but, but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Well, I guess we're now on a fetch quest for a curry spice. Let's go upstairs. All right. I think it's this thing. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've gotta cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what's so... <coughs> Luffy, what's wrong? Uh oh, let's go and see. He's dying. Don't actually be dying, please. Are you all right? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny, is all, and it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah, that's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you? I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. I can't wait. A nice bowl of your curry stew without spinach. They have such a simple, happy life. 
you can just tell that something is gonna go wrong or like something's gonna happen. It just it's too calm. Oh, I need to go over here. Begin cooking. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Ah! Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Why do they always talk over here? Like, Velvet, I know it. I know you're worried, but come on. You're not the one doing the commentary here, no, I am. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, hello, I can look at his shelves. Many books line Arthur's bookshelves. The Celestial Chronicles. Handwritten notes about, world to, about the world's historic ruins. On reading historical impressionist scripts, it looks like some kind of dictionary of a foreign language. Sorry, just the Celestial Chronicles? <laughs> Is that where the idea for the Celestial Record came from? Like, a thousand years later? That's so cool! I've... wow. I've never actually looked at these shelves, by the way. I, I looked at a few things when I was playing at first, but I don't think I analysed every single little thing. So it's, it's nice to check these things and see little things that I didn't know before. That's so cute! It made a reference to the Celestial Record. That's so cool. What's the big rush, Velvet? Have you seen Laffy? He went out alone, but he still has a fever. We just got here, so we haven't seen him. But Laffy's a boy. Boys do these things. I'm glad one of us can stay calm. What if something's happened to him? Relax. If he's in the village, he's safe, so try thinking about other places he might have gone. Stay calm. You're his big sister, right? Right. Yeah, probably best not to be getting too worked up in this kind of situation, Velvet, or else you'll just get yourself in a right tizzy. Hey, has Luffy Set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Laffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet! I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? 
He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. I know. He might have gone to the cape to pick flowers. Velvet. <laughs> right. Hi, child. How are you doing? You have your cat on your arm like a parrot. Athelita's great at catching mice. As good as Othello, even. Isn't that right, Athelina? Meow. Meow. Oh, Othello says Athelina still has a way to go. A long way to go, not just a way to go. There are so many kids in this village. I could, I could talk to the rat pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> I don't... Mmm, my stomach is rumbling just looking at him. I do love ears. Th this this girl needs to chill. Don't don't think about that when you're looking at it. Oink oink oink. It has a chicken on its back. That's adorable. Have you seen Lafayette? Why, I just saw him over at the general store. He had a whopper of a book in his hands too. I reckon it must have been one of Arthur's. Yeah, probably. If you see him again, would you tell him to head home? There some kind of problem? Anyhow, I'll tell him. Yeah, the problem is that he's ill. This poor child is ill. And he's walking around as if he's not ill. Oh, man. Hello. I, I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Oh, what am I gonna do with the two of you? Right, I'll head to the village. Velvet, you go check the woods. Ah. Squee, again. Who, what dog goes squee? Have you seen Lafayette? Nope, can't say that I have. All right, let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. I understand that you'd be lonely, Velvet, but come on! If you're living in a tiny town like this all your life, it's natural to want to get out of there, I think. I mean, that's how I felt, living in my town. Anyway, hi. I just remembered, Lava said told asked me about Scarlet Night. Scarlet Night is a special red-colored lunar eclipse. Tonight will be the first Scarlet Night since the opening. Huh. That's not ominous or anything. Eat your fill and make a lot of milk for us. We need you to help make our cheese, Tongue Stew. Moo. Its name is Tongue Stew. Life sure is less colorful without bunnies around. That poor kid. <laughs> All she wants is to see the bunnies. Let her be. Alright, hi there, how you doing? Still guarding this place? It's creepy. There were always rabbits around before, but now even the birds are silent. And what happened to the group who went to investigate? Shouldn't we be out looking for them? What'd be the point? If the coast is clear, they'll be back soon enough. And if it's not, the search party would end up demon food too. All we could do is hole up in the village and wait. Uh... Hmm... I get it, but at the same time, come on! Those people are probably dying out there, or dead already, or also demons. This exorcist talk is a load of rubbish. Who's gonna believe someone who says they can see things that aren't there? I can tell you, no one. 
no one is going to believe you except for like people who you show proof to can tell you that now. <sighs> Selica might have had a soft spark. <sighs> Selica might have a soft heart, but we won't be fooled so easily. Ah, I need to be looking for Luffy. Okay, I'm going. I'm looking for Luffy. <laughs> Talk to me. Preferably about Luffy. It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. She's had no luck with this so far. Sorry, I'm not much help. I'll look around for Lofset. He's quiet, but he sure is a free spirit, isn't he? Yeah, but at the same time, he's also very ill, and we're very worried for him. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Hi, let me pick you up. Luffy! Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! And we have a skit now, A Memory of Princessias. Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right, because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Selica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Oh, They're such a cute, happy family. Oh, Apple Boo! How about I make you some Apple Boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple Boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Selica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait, you called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! <laughs> Boo indeed. Um, seriously, that's such a weird tick. <laughs> but I guess fair enough. Hello! Not bad. Actually, that was a 
kind of dire, but it's fine. Fight me. Is that all? That was slightly less dire. Is there another one, or did I get them all? Um. Is there? No, I think I must have got them all. Okay. There's no such thing as dangerous encounters yet, or else I would have had one of those, but... Not got one yet. Oh, I thought that something came up for a second there, but it was just the question marks. I'm so disappointed. Ugh, man. Oh, hello. Bricklebore. Is that all? I've noticed that I don't use the X combos at all. That's interesting. I think it's because I'm so used to mashing circle on other games. Um, like Zysteria. Huh. Especially with Vesperia as well. That was my entire strategy. <laughs> these <sighs> this place never changes does it it does two change the seasons the wind the weather change one and the seas totally different and the same goes for what lies across the sea across the sea Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well... If they didn't, they couldn't catch food, or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... A demon! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Why is a demon here? That's a good question. I accidentally, uh... I don't want to go alone! Oh, I'm sorry, Luffy. You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please, go! Well... I'm doing zero damage, so this is going well. Oh lord. It's... It's just like Arthur said. But... I have to do this! Stop! Face me, demon! I get home. Velvet! Luffy, you're all right. Ugh. Sorry, it's all my fault. No, if you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it.
I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! Oh dear! <laughs> Things are starting to take a turn for the... Oh dear. Okay, is there anything else in this house that I can grab while I'm here? Like this book, maybe? That looks like, you know... Really standy out <laughs> I can't pick it up. I can't pick anything up. Oh, come on. Let me pick something up, Velvet. <laughs> okay, if I will leave, we'll leave. We get to have another battle tutorial where we run away. I hate the system of running away in this game. I gotta run. It's so ridiculous. Like in the other games, at least you could just press a button and escape. But no, here you have to freaking run against the blue line, and then the enemies start attacking you while you're running against the blue line, and you never get to actually escape. What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. Wow. Look at all these people. No. The village. They they dead. They they very dead. Oh wow. Well, at least I don't have to remember their name their voices anymore. Oh, the baby as well. Oh no. Oh boy. Let's head on through. Luffy! Arthur! Velvet! You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Here, once. Was the seal to the underworld broken? And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lothisette's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? Let him go. This is an offering to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion.
that feeds on demons. Arthur. Aetherian. Arthur! Oh my god, this part of the game is amazing. Oh my god, the violence. Alright, Velvet, I understand that you're angry, but calm down! Why did you kill him? His blood is on your hands! Answer me! Answer me! Why? Oh man, this poor girl! Oh man! Oh man! Take a look around. <laughs> Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur... I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Oh my god, <laughs> that battle, that entire scene, everything there is so, oh my god, you can already tell what the tone of the game is going to be, can't you? <laughs> Let's quickly move on to the next scene. So did my world come to an end. And for three long years... I sat in that pit of darkness, and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance.
is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. This episode is going on for so long, I'm so sorry. Oh god, okay. Oh, it's a quick step, okay. Turn like the sun! Okay, 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 let me care okay. My if you are not, I will kill you. Oh, she killed me! Oh god. Okay, while we're on this death screen, I'm gonna end the episode here because this has gone on for a little while. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today. I'm sorry for the really abrupt ending, but this episode was going on for so long and we really need to stop. Um, I will probably start on this screen as well. Oh god, sorry. Um, so yeah, thanks again. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time.